Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here on the channel. We have another summoning video for Cat Fantasy. We got a new character. We're gonna try her out. We also have some whole bunch of normal summons and we got some faded summons to go through. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys do, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's get straight into it. Alright, so we just have the Halloween event. We also have the new Halloween character. Uh, we also have two new chapters, I believe. Chapter... 20 and 21 came out as well uh we'll be playing those through a separate video today's video we're gonna be summoning on the new character so uh as well as um we also have some normal summons and we also have some fate we have one faded summon that we got from the last event that we're gonna go ahead and try out as well um and then we have over 12 uh 1200 stamina in order to build the new character um Hopefully we can get her at least to level 65, I'm hoping, um, especially with the upgrade materials that you'll get from um, upgrading the characters. I want to try to at least get one extra copy if we can, it's not a guarantee, uh, but if we're lucky we might be able to. So, um, yeah, so let's first, let's go ahead and do the trial and then we'll go ahead and move... Um, uh, try out and then we'll go ahead and move into the summons. Hopefully we can get her All right, so tricky wiki, so we're gonna try her out um, Or Trixie uh, is her name Halloweeny I wonder what they're gonna do for Christmas um, Well, also Thanksgiving is coming up this month, so it'll be interesting to see what they do for Christmas uh, for Thanksgiving and Christmas Because um, I know the battle pass is ending and six days, and it's taking forever to load. Um, and six days, which means it'll be like halfway through November. I'm curious to see what they're gonna do with November, the rest of November and December's battle passes. All right, so let's check it out. Um, I did kind of look at her kit. I also posted it, but let's see. Uh, deals 102% attack. Um, as damage to one enemy and extends the duration of two curses on the target by one turn. Curses at the end of the at the end of turns damage deals indirect damage equal to twenty percent of the target's max HP capped at one hundred twenty percent of the caster's attack. So I'm guessing her this is on her attack. Um, let's see her debuffs. Uh, reduce all enemies healing received by 30% for three turns or grants all all allies side pot for two turns side pot and reduces aoe damage taken by 25% when attacked and inflicts curse on the attacker for one turn this effect occurs up to once per turn the other one is selects and activates one of the two okay okay um that's actually pretty good not gonna lie um, let's see. Do you have any other? Okay, so we'll up there look at it. So let's do. Okay, so we get to choose here. So we're gonna do this one and attack. Just gonna debuff some of the characters here. We do three times since our perks. So characters that do lifesteal and healing, she's going to be really, really good against, as well as AoE, AoE damage, so, okay. Deals 285% attack as da uh, damage divided into five stacks to a random enemy. With each, stat, each strike extending the duration of one curse on the target by one, one to curse, the end of each room deals additional damage. Okay. So we need as much curse on the enemy as possible in order to do as much damage as possible. Um, I can kind of see that. No one really has any shields. Um, I don't have her, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so indirect damage deals a set amount of d damage based on attack and indirect damage boost reduction effects. I 
I missed my chance to get her, which is kind of unfortunate. Maybe she'll come back um, at another time for the rules. Wow, she actually did quite a bit of damage, not gonna lie. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of her healing ability. So, we're gonna do this. Um... So like world bosses that are consistently allowed to heal should be really good against. She's also be good with one of my other characters that basically deal damage based on debuffs on enemies. But this is continuous, like almost like dot damage, basically. It's a little bit laggy today. Okay, Luckily, I have two of the three other characters. Okay, let's go ahead and claim this. And it looks like her her overall kit's based on her attack. Um, so let's go ahead. I think we can go ahead and do the summons now. Um, let's see, we're going to leave the summons for last. Let's do fate summons first. We have one fate summon, and there's only one character that we need out of all of them. Um, and that is her. So let's, I'm hoping that we can get her. I mean, it's one out of five chance, so I'm not, like, holding my breath on that I'll be able to get her, but we'll see. I just realized the cat's eyes glow gold. I didn't realize that, and I don't think I got it. It's fine. It's just another, uh... Anything we can add to the list. Alright, let's go ahead. We have 9,000 summons. Um, and so we're at least guaranteed one SSR. Uh, again, it could be literally any one of the SSRs. Um, any one of the, on the list. So it could be any one of these. Um, again, we're only looking for one specific one, but again, that's like one out of ten chances, so... Who, who am I to say, right? Um, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Let's do our free daily summon first. To... And see. I was about to say. Alright. I quite, quite haven't figured out how you can tell when you get an SSR in this game. Oh, I'm doing single summons? Oh, crap. <laughs> there we go. That's better. <laughs> I was like, why am I doing single summons? <laughs> Typically, summons in this game usually go to 60 to 70 pulls. So, I'm not particularly, like... Holding my breath on getting two copies and then new character. Or at least get one, hopefully. But we are getting all these extra things that we can turn into seven, so. Should get it this turn. This turn or next turn. Yeah. Wow, it's making us go that far. That's insane. Yeah, all the way to 19, which is like hard as they. Oh, 
Okay, can we at least get a character, either a copy of a character that we want, or the new, or, or one of the characters I don't have? Okay, I'll take it. I could use an extra copy of her. Okay, we got three more summons. We might as well just go through them. And maybe we're lucky. Maybe. I doubt it. Wow, did I just get... Oh, I got three SRs in that turn. Oh, that's not bad, actually. That's pretty good. All right, but this is the one that we all want. All been waiting for. Let's get into this. Uh, we really should be able to get an extra thousand seven. So we have three k plus fourteen thousand gems. So we're at least guaranteed one SSR. I just don't know if we're gonna get Trixie. So. Um, we have seventy four pulls um, because I didn't pull any more on the other character. Hey, I'm not complaining. Well, okay, let's pray that we actually get it. You can tell because I'll have her little mini cat version. Oh, I'm surprised this is Ah, damn it, didn't get it. Oh, I did. Okay, I guess her mini version is different than her display version. Okay, I'll take it. Hey, might actually be able to get a second roll. I thought it would be. Oh, she just didn't have the crown. That's why. Okay. Let's. Actually, I want to see what her. We didn't actually look at her star rank ups. Um. Not her star wake-ups. Uh, her... Um... ups Okay. She's gonna be at the bottom of the list. There she is. Uh, star rank -ups. Okay, you want is when using the ultimate, each strike of the attack inflicts one stack of an effect that increases indirect damage taken by eight percent on the target for three turns, stacks up to three times. Okay, so each time I use my ult, okay, increase indirect damage boost by eleven percent. So that's basically like every turn damage. Increase base damage by two hundred fifty-eight percent. It's not bad. Uh, increase damage by 13%, include a new effect at the start of the battle, grant all allies side pot for two turns, grants an effect equivalent to one to a one star skill card. Additionally, at the end of each turn, heal all allies with side pot by 50%. What? She could be a healer too? Okay. Increase base damage by 285%. Increase direct uh, d indirect damage by 50%. Of course, at the end of the turns, extend the duration of up to two curse effects on each of the enemy turns. Uh, in the target of future turns. Okay. It's not terrible. I mean, of course, we're not going to get six copies. I mean, I would have to literally get one copy per pull. Um, but let's go ahead and hopefully we can get one extra copy. I was, I was gonna be like hopeful that maybe the game would be lucky enough to give me one tenth of a chance to get one, but hey. Three SS. Three SS. Okay. Let's do this. Into our jibs. I don't want to go into our jibs.
I mean, we're guaranteed an S. I, it's six, if it's 1600, then we're guaranteed another SSR. I just don't know if it's going to be a guarantee, guaranteed to get. I don't know the 50 50. Um, there it is. I don't know what the 50 50 um, percentage on this is. Even if it's a 50 50, I don't know what it is. Or at least the pity system. I have no idea what the pity system in this game is. I didn't get it. Well, that's it. So there is a 50 50 chance in this game. Alright, well, I have 8,000 gems left. I am not willing to summon because I'm not going to be able to get her. Um, I could do another 30 to get an extra 1,000 gems back, but I'm not. 1,000 summons back, but I'm not going to do that. There's no point. Alright, um, that's it for today's video. We're going to be doing an upgrade video after this. So, the next following video, we're also going to be doing a story mode video for chapters 20 and 21. So look forward to those. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a lot. And see you guys in our next video.